To paraphrase the great William Shakespeare, some people are born explorers and some people have exploring thrust upon them. But as Autoline's Chip Drake tells us, then there are the pioneers. Being a pioneer is okay. I'm ambivalent. I have mixed feelings. Uh, I would rather the car had cruise control and uh, I were just a regular guy. Bill Nye is certainly no regular guy. You might know him from his good-natured eco-rivalry with L.A. neighbor Ed Begley. But his day job as Disney's Bill Nye the Science Guy is what brings him into our homes to educate our children and adults alike. Bill Nye the Science Guy. And one of the issues Mr. Nye is passionate about is changing the way we all get around. What you'd really want are uh, public transportation systems like London or something or Tokyo. But in the interim, we need to have cars, automobiles, that are just less inefficient and much cleaner. And electricity would be fantastic if we can get the specific energy or the amount of energy stored in the batteries down to a reasonable size. Bill Nye isn't just speaking off the cuff. This mechanical engineer turned scientist turned television educator was an original member of the General Motors EV1 fraternity. But ever since that car was canceled, he's been looking for a new electric avenue. Then two years ago came the unveiling of BMW's Mini E program at the LA Auto Show. Bill Nye landed vehicle number 265 of the 450 consumer cars on the road. And though he wasn't happy with the high lease price he was paying each month, at least he wasn't surprised, as others were, by the usual ramp-up problems that confront real-world research like this. Let me start by saying that I am an early adopter enthusiast. So when BMW says it'll be six weeks before we can get your car, I go, okay. When B Mini says, well, it'll be another two weeks before the electrician can come, I go, all right. And they have, they have all this paperwork in the contract. Be sure to keep your other car. <laughs> Don't let go of your other car. I totally get it. I mean, it's, it wasn't any problem for me. But it hasn't been all sunshine and lollipops for either BMW or the Mini E Pioneers, as they're called, especially when it comes to their home charging stations. Now, whether it's his science background or his personal history with the EV1, either way, Mr. Nye insisted that Mini set him up with a 240-volt charger instead of the usual 110 it was providing others, cutting a full charge for the car down from more than 15 hours to only three. We're early adopters. We're pioneers, man. We're going to figure this out. 